Hey everybody, welcome to the Tarot Temple here at Spirit Vibes. I am back with Working Money for the week of January the 25th until the 31st. So we're just going to clear out the week. Um, I don't know what element I am working with yet, but I'm going to be using the right of weight deck. I do know it's not fire because we just completed fire, okay? Um, in the meantime, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and check the description box as well. And remember to like share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And in the meantime, if you are stopping in again uh, for the first time or repeat, don't forget to watch the Raw Tarot videos. That's your romance at work. And if you're interested in the extended version, just check the description box and I'll send you that link. It is only $4.99. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Like I said, I don't know what element I'm dealing with, but it is for sun moon rising and on the cups and we'll reveal that in just a moment okay so let's go ahead and get started overall energy would be the ten of swords based on the hangman and what you can expect is the death card stemming from the ten of pentacles with an outcome of the rainbow which is the ten of cups We'll discuss your conflict and your supportive energy in just a moment. Once we finish with this, we'll do your spiritual vow oracle message and your angel message. So, hope everybody is doing well. And this element will be for, let's see. I'm not very fast at this. Air. Wow. Okay. Air signs overall. It's the depth of something. You're done. You're tired of waiting. You are tired of waiting. Your hands has been tied behind your back for some time. And, and I know it's been for some time because it's the Ten of Swords right here. The overall energy. You're tired. You're fed up. You're done. You don't know what else to do. It's in God's hands now. Because you've been waiting around. You've been waiting for answers. You've been waiting. That sounds like an air sign. Because they like answers. Air signs are comfortable knowing. That's why they're air and represented by the sword. Okay. Yeah, see? You've been waiting, you've been your, your hands been tied behind your back, some of you, on this issue. So what you can expect this week is the death card, okay? And I think you can see my cards pretty clearly. Um Now, I'm hearing yellow, feeling yellow. Now, that, that, that sometimes can stem from news. Um, I wish I could Google that real quick. I'm trying to remember what I'm sensing here about feeling yellow. Um, and some of you, you're feeling rather smart because... There's some type of restriction going on this week, okay? And I keep hearing journalistic, you know, feeling yellow has something to do with news, you know, sensationalism. Um, and it's stemming from this, this Ten of Pentacles. Now, this is a connection as well. Um, in affluent places out in the city, if this could be the place where you work that's affluent, that has, you know, everything going on, uh, anything you need, they got at restaurants, automobile shops, uh, hospitals, um, the city, you know what I'm saying, where the wealth is. For some of you, this came from something... Some of you I'm hearing family, and this could be family business, because I'm hearing family and I'm hearing taking care of your business. So some of you, this could be stemming from taking care of some family business. Let's get a clarifier on this. Dear source, please clarify the ten pentacles, the, mm, the ten of pentacles for us. The ten of pentacles. Okay, we got the universe card, and that's singular. 
The universe card is in the upright position. So, I don't know if a lot, some of you spend a lot of time to yourself on your job, like you have a significant amount of time to focus on your work while you're there without anybody, um, you know, in your space. Some of you, this is stemming from needing your space. So this could be about going out in the city and making something happen in terms of your home. You see what I'm saying? Because that's work, you know. Because this is a personal universe here. Now I'm also hearing hair, a personal place and space to do hair as well. And I see that you're going out in the city um, to get this stuff, to get the things that you need. Because I guess maybe you're tired of waiting on someone else. But it's something you got to do first before you do it. And it may be going out and getting your stuff. Maybe you're getting your maybe you're getting up your job for the first time. You're getting all fixed up for it. I don't know. Um, for some of you, it has to do with your children. Okay, it has to do with your children. And some of you expect a gift. Now, this gift, for whatever reason has been, um, you've been restricting yourself with this gift. I don't know if you just have, you are waiting to open it up or whatever. It may have some connection to uh, feeling yellow, um, feeling like you want to write about it maybe or talk about it or something on the news. But whatever this gift is, it's very useful, but it's going to be something about it that you don't like, okay? But don't lick a gift horse in the mouth, okay? So don't complain about it, all right? Because it's still useful, okay? Um, just do the best you can. Now, the conflict this week is the moon card. You're feeling uncertain. I said that. You're tired of waiting. You're feeling uncertain. You don't know. And not only that, the timing. The timing is fucked up. It's at night. You know what I'm saying? This has to do with what time things are going to close. The shift that you have to work could also be an issue. Okay? When it comes to this. And what's going to support that is the King of Pentacles. Now, this could be... Generally, this is an individual. You may work with this person. This could be your man, your, your wife, your girl. I don't know. But um, now, if it's you, you need to think your finances through. Okay? For others, this is somebody who's thinking about supporting you financially. I don't know if they're thinking about helping you with this hair thing. Because that's what I definitely see something about cosmetology. Let me put it like that. It's not just hair. It could be skin and nails and massage therapy. Anything dealing with cosmetology, that is clear to me. It could be other um, focuses. I also see a dance studio. Okay, so this is the arts. This is dealing with people who is in the arts, not just out of 10 who's going to work from home. Okay, but the conflict is the timing, the shift, and waiting, uncertainty. Okay, but what's going to help is thinking about it financially. The king of pentacles thinks about his pentacles sincerely. He's in no rush. This is a business-minded person when it comes to money. Okay, I don't care what else you see in the world. When it comes to that money, this is a business-minded person. Okay, and they are definitely considering you this week. What to pay you, what to offer you, what you can spare. What can be spared financially and monetarily. But you have a good outcome. You're pretty happy in the outcome. Pretty content. It's not 100, but you're comfortable. Um, you're grateful. 
and, and one thing I love about air signs is they are one of the most grateful elements of all the zodiacs is definitely um, air to me, you know, and I am going to do that. What I think about zodiac signs real soon, um, my personal take on that. So hopefully you'll be viewing that as well. But I also I see the children are very happy. It doesn't matter if they're pets or your actual human children. They are going to be so happy and content this. I mean, like really happy this week. Because for some of you, you're getting a home. You're getting a new home this week, some of you. Let's see what the spiritual about Oracle message is. Some of you, I'm hearing, you're going to get be get a new mate, a mate, be with your mate. Okay, very well. Okay, she just pulled out Drake. Now, I don't know if this is working on the weekend like usual. Okay, I don't know if it's that or if it's God's plan or what. It is, but when I give you the reflective, you will know what Drake song would apply to you, okay? And then we're going to get your angel message, and then we're going to dismiss the tempo. See, you don't have to stay all day here at the Tarot Temple Spirit Vibes. We can see and get the message and get out, okay? It's reflected by all the Eight of Swords. You got to work this out. How is this going? This And this is God's way. This is God's plan. This is... This has to be done. You, you are left to figure this out on your own. Whatever this is, this is like God getting you prepared to make responsible decisions. Okay? Especially if you're going to be in business. You have to learn to make executive decisions. And executive decisions require you to stop, think, okay? Come up with a plan, then make a move. Let's see what your angel message is this week. Air signs, sun, moon, rising, and on the cups. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This is for you. All right. Let's see what your angel message is this week. And you have the angel of tenderness. I think it's backwards to you all. The angel of tenderness. Let me see what the underlying energy is. The angel of obedience. We're getting that a lot. The angel of obedience. Okay. I am radiant with tenderness. Tenderness. The soft breeze of the meadow. An opening bud. A hand that finds the perfect gesture. The touch that heals, the gaze of pure understanding with no strings attached. In our lives, tenderness is the natural flow of our actions because the soul has dissolved all fear of being. Hmm. The angel of tenderness. This sounds very healing and cosmic, you know, like cosmetology. Um, because your tenderness, you have to have that in cosmetology, in art, in the arts. Your tenderness, how you handle others, how you handle yourself this week, is going to be very important, especially when it comes to your children. Okay, it's your tenderness this week that gives you this Ten of Cups. Okay, a hand that finds the perfect gesture, the touch that heals, the gaze of pure understanding with no strings attached. You know, just it's kind of close to being compassionate. Yeah, so just remember to be tender in your actions, air signs, because you know you can be a wrecking. You one that can, you know, what I'm saying? Sometimes you can be a person to be to reckon with, so um Yeah, I'll leave it here. Just remember to be tender. That's gonna really um vibrate your aura your aura. That's what I'm trying to say. This is about your aura. 
okay? And with that being said, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you liked your reading. And I can't wait to bring you another one next week. Until then, you take care of yourself. And as always, peace and one love.